All right, now that we've covered the basics of SQL in databases, let's take a quick look at how PHP actually interfaces, or in other words, speaks to a MySQL database. To connect PHP to a database, in this case, MySQL, we have several ways of doing it. Now, each of these things here, let me just select MySQL, this is a library built into PHP that allows you to connect to the MySQL database. So we know a database is just an app that allows you to store all kinds of information, allows you to store all kinds of data. Just a quick reminder. So the original library to connect with PHP was MySQL. In fact, the people who created PHP and the people who created a MySQL app used to work together closely and it produces first library. And this first library contains all kinds of PHP functions that makes it easy for PHP to talk to MySQL. Now what I'm talking about talking to MySQL, sending data from PHP pages to MySQL database, and then having PHP be able to pull data from the MySQL database and bring it back to PHP. The MySQL library though is an old library and it's deprecated. What does deprecated mean? It's just a nerd word that means you shouldn't use it anymore. It's not being updated. It's old, no good. So they replaced it with a couple of new libraries, MySQLi and MySQLi, I is short for improved. So MySQLi, this library of functions and, and methods is basically a new version and an improved version of the MySQL library. And they're very, very similar. Although the MySQL I library is better, it's faster and has more capability. I mentioned the old MySQL library, not because it's something you might want to use. You definitely want to use this library and I'll get to this library later. It's just important to know what the MySQL library is because you might find old, old PHP apps that still use it. So the MySQL I library, I for improved, does everything that this library does, but it's just better and does other things as well. And this is what I am going to be demoing with in this course. So this again is a library specifically designed to speak to MySQL. It's a PHP library. There's another PHP library called PHP PDO. This library is another library that allows you to communicate between PHP and MySQL, but what makes PDO different is that it's not just MySQL. This library allows you to speak to a whole bunch of databases and you don't need to change any code. Whereas this library here, it only works with MySQL. This library works with a whole bunch of databases, could be Postgres, SQL Server, Oracle, You'd have to look up the list. It's not too important right now. So why do we have these two libraries? Well, programmers have different points of view about certain things, but the big advantage that they'll talk about with PHP PDO is that it allows you to, again, to be able to talk to a whole bunch of different databases without having to change your code. The supposed advantage of that is that if, say, one day you wrote your PHP app and you decide you want to switch from MySQL to another database, if you're using PHP PDO, to switch from one database to the next is really, really easy because PHP PDO allows you to write your code so you don't have to make any changes whether you have MySQL behind the scenes or Oracle or some other database. And that's kind of cool because one of the holy grails, one of the things you want to do in programming is you want to have your code be independent of other code in the system. What does that mean? You want to have the most flexible code possible. So if you use PHP PDO, it's much more flexible in that regard than MySQLi. But the reality of situation, I've been coding for 20 years and I've never ever seen a situation where we had an app that was based on MySQL and we just decided to switch to another database. I've never seen it. It just doesn't happen. So up here I have something called ORM, O-R-M. Now, ORM is another package of code, another library of code. These are all the libraries of code, right? We have MySQL package, the MySQL I package, the PHP PDO package, and this is an ORM package. Now, ORM is short for Object Relational Mapping, and this is a whole bunch of PHP code 
that takes care of all of the dirty details of talking to a database. An ORM will be based on either MySQL or PHP PDO, probably more PHP PDO. For a lot of the work in communicating between PHP and your database, if you use the ORM, you don't have to write any SQL. You just write PHP functions. So this goes beyond the scope of this particular course, but I just want you to be aware that a lot of the advanced PHP apps out there will actually use an ORM. Nonetheless, ORMs are not perfect, and there are times where you're gonna to have to drop down to SQL to send commands to the database. So it's really important that you know SQL no matter what. So to wrap up this section, which library should you use? You should not use this library, that's old news. You should use either MySQL I, if you're gonna be using MySQL, PHP PDO, although there is an argument for PHP PDO since it's universal, it can be used with a whole bunch of databases without having to change a code. But for a lot of people in big production PHP projects, they will be using an ORM. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump into some PHP code that uses MySQI to see how it works.